Shockley again back to throw as time. And there's a player down at the eight yard line. It looks like it's Jason Allen. In 2005, star defensive back Jason Allen suffered a season ending injury against Georgia. Stepping up in his place was sophomore Inky Johnson. Here's a corner blitz. Shockley reads it and tucks it up. He's still on the run. Now he loses the football. It's scooped up by Tennessee. Scooped up by Inky Johnson. And Tennessee comes up with a turnover. I hate I had to come in and start that way with somebody getting injured, but it was a great feeling. And he did everything to motivate me and get me ready. Yeah, I was a little nervous and happy at the same time. You know, it was an exciting feeling. Defensive back coach Larry Slade knew that Inky was ready for the task ahead of him in his first start against Alabama. Inky has always seen himself as a starter. And, and when, I, when we put him in the game, we knew we were putting a starter in the game. So not, I didn't really worry a whole lot about it. Slade told me they was going to try to come at me and just have that tough skin because I knew they was going to come at me and I was ready and I was prepared. And prepared he was. Three plays, they went after Inky Johnson all three times. He popped him and stripped the ball out. Things were looking up for Inky going into the 2006 season until disaster struck in the fourth quarter against Air Force. Carney being blitzed, but he gets up, fires the ball down the sideline. And then Inky is slow to get up. Inky knocked the Air Force runner, Justin Handley, out of bounds, but Inky is still down. When I hit him, I blanked out for a minute, and, uh, you know, they took me off on a stretcher. And I remember when I got to the hospital, you know, all the people standing over me in the ER and all that telling me it's going to be okay, and everybody was by my side with me 100%. You know, when I went in and when I came out of surgery, my coaches and teammates, they supported me a lot, man. They brought me through it a lot, and they stayed with me right by my side through it all. After surgery, Inky went through months of recovery, but unable to continue his football career. My road to recovery has been good, man. You know, my training staff, you know, they're working with me. They're great training staff, you know. God's working on my body every day. I thank him for my healing every day. Despite the injury, Inky still continues to take an active part with the volunteer secondary. I'm slowly moving into that student coaching role. I'm going to some meetings, you know, helping some players out on the field. I just stay and build a relationship with my teammates and my coaches even better. He has that, that uh, demeanor about him that says win. He has that demeanor that says victory. And, and he has a uh, peace with him that <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. And I don't think we humanly can explain it, but I just know that uh, that, that has a tremendous impact on his teammates. Johnson's recovery is not only an inspiration to his teammates, but also for the fans he played for. It was a tough, it was a tough break for Inky. It was a tough break, tough thing for the team, but uh, Inky has a, has a heck of a testimony and, and uh, a lot of people are, um, you know, turning their lives around as a result of what happened to Inky. A life-changing moment came when I got injured, but, you know, I took it in stride because God does everything for a reason. And, you know, we can't sit there and complain about it because everything happens for a reason, you know. It could be a blessing and it can be a curse, but in my place, I took it as a blessing and rolled with it. For Inside the Orange, I'm Drew Walker.